Greetings from Edge Technologies. Myself Shailaja, and it gives me immense pleasure to present a demo on digital asset management by leveraging SAP Intelligent Asset Management. Our demo uses Caterpillar dump truck fleet equipment, and I'll guide you through the equipment hierarchy in ECC and IAM. The seamless integration between these two systems and the various sensor data we collect to monitor the asset health information. As per business requirement and the plant maintenance organization structure, the Caterpillar dump truck is considered as functional location, and all its components such as engine, transmission, differential, uh, power train, hydraulic system, brake uh, brake system, etc., are defined as equipments. The same equipment hierarchy replicates automatically in IAA, as you can see here: engine, transmission, differential, hydraulic system. defining the equipment hierarchy with sub equipment models unleashes iams capabilities and helps to identify failures at the lowest level of equipment also we monitor or measure the asset health information for equipment engine assembly through different sensors or indicators like chromium silica ferrous for sos indicators from caterpillar's uh, wins filter cut or magnetic plug for workshop analysis and oil top up or fluid top up details we also assign sensor data to other equipment such as transmission power train hydraulic system brake system etc uh, et in the same way these indicators allow us to read real time sensor data from the equipment iam enables collaboration between all stakeholders such as oems manufacturers service providers etc which enables sharing of real time information such as notification failure modes analytics work orders spare parts etc this helps get an immediate response during equipment downtime once the equipment is successfully synced with sap iot that allows to read the sensor or indicator data we monitor the sensor data on the indicator chart and indicator table making real time decisions based on deviations when the sensor data reaches the thresholds the system automatically generates alerts and pm notifications as you can see here uh for the pm notification an external number will be displayed on iam and through this number we can search for the notification in ecc this alert will be displayed on the uh, indicator chart also as a vertical row as you can see here an alert has been uh, triggered this is the indicator chart i am empowers us by conducting a comprehensive risk and criticality assessment of all assets based on their technical breakdown which drives lean maintenance risk and criticality is a process to identify potential risk and hazards uh, their consequences on the asset and calculate risk scores based on different categories risk and criticality assessment will be performed on the asset based on the failures that were impacted on different categories such as environment production safety etc each impact will be measured with a scale that generates the final risk and criticality score based on the risk score we perform either corrective maintenance activity or fma etc so here the overall risk is 80 uh, 869 and it is suggesting us to perform a fmba fmba suggests actions to either eliminate or reduce potential failures from occurring risk priority number score will be generated based on the failure mode causes and effects based on the rpn score the reliability engineer creates recommendations to perform preventive or corrective tasks so here uh, the risk score is uh, rpn number is uh, 504 so the reliability engineer recommended us to do a corrective task finally the required information or alerts can be pushed to management dashboards for better visualization and decision making thank you for your attention and now it's open discussion for any clarifications